holy crap that was incredible About to head out towards the coast to look for some good old fashioned water detail. Wish me luck! Heading off to the beach. Hoping for some good clouds. Not really expecting any. Got this makeshift rig on this bag so I only got to carry one. I guess it'll have to work. It says it's only 83 outside, but I feel like it's about 150. I got my air blasting in here and it is hot. There's no way. It appears that everybody had the same idea that I did. Traffic sucks. He wasn't going anywhere. Lots and lots of people on the coast. So as I sit here, basically dead stopped in this traffic, I'm thinking that I'm going to go out to Pacifica Pier and see what I can get there. I've been there once before and I got an awesome sunset. Maybe one of the best that I've ever gotten and I certainly don't think I'm going to get that tonight, but I'd like to try something else. So it was like 85 degrees in San Jose. I love the coast. It's like, it says it's 69 degrees here. That is what I'm talking about. I've made it here, but parking is a disaster. I'm thinking there may be too many people and I may need to go find somewhere smaller. I'm gonna try and find a spot to park and assess the situation. There are literally people everywhere. I am not sure this is going to be the right spot super pretty and I love it and the sunset looks like it might be nice but I think that there's just too many people
Maybe I'll have a walk down the beach and see if there's a, a better place. Starting to get pretty nice out here. Sun's starting to go down. Starting to get a little darker. Can start getting some long exposures. And uh, we'll see how it turns out. Man, I am kicking myself in the butt for not bringing a wide angle lens. These clouds are insane. Sun's going down. Just getting some horizon shots right now. Super pretty. Wish I had a wide angle lens, but you live and you learn. I'm gonna take a couple more. Holy freaking crap. Look at this. It is blowing up. packed up that was pretty freaking awesome now to get out of here and try and beat all the traffic looks like everybody's leaving I'm out of here Let's talk about how I process this image. I did everything in Lightroom. I shot the image at 121 millimeters, ISO 100 to get the best quality, F22 to get some nice depth and make the exposure as long as I could. That gave me 0.6 seconds of an exposure. So here's the original import. This is the raw image. And I started out by making basic adjustments to the color, contrast, highlight, shadows, and just really tried to give it a little bit of vibrance and clarity to make the colors in the sky pop here and also the color in the water. I then added a curves adjustment, which basically creates more contrast. I brought up the highlights and brought down the shadows. You can see this is getting really dark here and I actually don't like that, but I knew I was going to change it later. Typically always use the lens correction. It does a really good job of not distorting the image. Then I added a vignette and a little bit of dehazing and you can see this got really dark down here. <laughs> what I noticed was in the sky, there were so many sensor spots. I need to get this thing clean. Look at this, they're freaking everywhere. So painstakingly, I went through, I adjusted the angle of the horizon to make it straight, and I brightened it up just a bit to get exactly what I was hoping for. This is the final image. If you enjoyed this content, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and do us a big favor and subscribe. We're bringing one of these things to you every week. A lot of work goes into it. We really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you later. <laughs>